Hey everybody, this is Doug with Like the Shirty here. Um, back, it's been a while. It's been probably seven weeks or so. I've uh, been through a pretty crazy past couple of months. Uh, I was hospitalized uh, with an infection in my leg from a sports injury. I had to have surgery. I missed three weeks of work. I'm still recovering from it. I still got an incision in my shin and uh, haven't really done a lot of eBaying. I've done a little bit, done a little bit of uh, sourcing, a uh, little bit of listing, but not as much I'd want to. But I'm finally starting to feel myself again, and I thought it was about time to uh, to do another sales video. Uh, just show you what uh, some of the items I've sold over the past few weeks. Um, I have a lot to pick from. Um, got a lot of t-shirts in here to show you. Maybe uh, see some t-shirts that you would never think would sell. Uh, I'll show you uh, how much they sold for me, and uh, just some of the other items. I got a, you know some hot items that I always pick up uh, that maybe I can uh, you know help you out with, and uh, so you might can pick up next time you see them. Uh, but moving right along, uh, the first item I have here is uh, this is kind of a crazy item here. I found this as a sleep shirt. It's a uh, Barnum's Animal Crackers night shirt. Uh, it's from the late '80s, early '90s. Uh, I mean, this thing's crazy. It's pretty long, comes down past your knees a little bit, or right at your knees. Uh, I'm about uh, 5'10 or 5'11, and it comes right above my knees. Uh, it had some stains on it. Uh, this shirt had never been worn, though, uh, so I didn't want to wash it. So I just disclosed it had never been worn, but it did have a few stains. And um, I put it up for um, $49.99, or best offer. Uh, and I accepted a best offer of $35 for this, and I think I played a, paid a dollar or two for uh, the shirt. So that's just kind of like a nostalgic, kind of kind of brings me back to my childhood, man. That, that, I <laughs> never in a million years would have thought they'd make a shirt like this. This is kind of crazy. So uh, it was a great find and a great sale, and that's uh, a fun item. Uh, and these, is, I mean, items like this are why I do this. So next... Um, this may be a shirt uh, you might not think about. Uh, you know, it says Branson, Missouri on it. You know, it's uh, it's got the uh, the '80s, early '90s uh, Fruit of the Loom tag, and um, a shirt of that age, like late '80s, early '90s, and a 3XL is uh, sometimes kind of rare. So I went ahead and picked this up, even with the stain and the small hole in the back. It sold for twelve dollars. And I think I paid a dollar for the shirt. So uh, shirts like this that have like a like a tourist or vacation destination on it. Um, you know, uh, Branson has a, a, a big tourist attraction to it. So uh, I went ahead and picked it up, and it was a good sell. Next, this is just uh, a Billabong. I know you've seen probably Billabong shirts uh, while you're thrifting all the time. Uh, this one was not faded. Uh, so I had good coloring to it, no holes or anything like that. And um, so I went in and picked it up. I think I picked it up for a dollar or less than a dollar. And just thought I'd give it a try, throw it up in my store, see what happens. And it sold for twelve ninety nine with free shipping. So, uh, you know, I, I like shirts like this. It's not a ton of return, but uh, I like having shirts like this. Keep people coming back to buy some cheap t-shirts, especially when I can get them for a dollar. Next, um... Here's another one you, you might not think about picking up, but you know this is uh, this is a uh, early '90s, uh, <clears throat> just a a shirt about the city of Atlanta. Things are happening. It's got the peach on it with Atlanta, and if you look real close, you can't really tell in in this picture, but um, it, it got paint on it. that's kind of glittery. I don't think it is glitter, but it kind of reflects off the light. So I thought that was kind of cool. It was a two X. I uh, went ahead and threw it up there for 15 bucks, and somebody bought it for $15 free shipping. So I bought the t-shirt for like a dollar. Next is a uh, vintage rain spooner. Uh, the rain spooner, uh, this is from the early 90s, late 80s. Um, this one actually stayed up longer than I expected it to. It's been up in my store for uh, probably eight months or so. Uh, but it finally sold... Uh, I think I had this as high as forty-five dollars, but it finally sold for twenty-nine ninety-nine free shipping. And uh, you know you can get these for three or four bucks, and in the short sleeve button-up section. So 
a uh, good return on that one. And Rain Spooner is just always uh, a brand you want to pick up, whether it's vintage or not. Rain Spooner is uh, one of the top Hawaiian shirt uh, brands uh, you can find. <clears throat> Next, and here's a, I don't know how far this brand makes it throughout the country, but in the south, uh, Vineyard Vines is really big. It's a preppy, uh, it's a preppy uh, clothing, clothing line. Uh, Vintage Vines, Southern Tide, Southern Marsh, you can throw Lacoste, everybody knows Lacoste, but you know, those type of preppy uh, type clothes um, is what this is, and they're, it's real big in the south, so I found this shirt for a dollar, uh, and it says just Vineyard Vines on it right here, it's got the well, and it says y'all, you know, you hear y'all in the south a lot, so uh, uh, this one sold no problem, I think it took about four days for this to sell at $18, I probably could have sold it for higher, but this shirt's only about $30, $30 brand new anyway, so um, I went with $18 and it worked out, so I'm pretty happy with that. Next, uh, so, I mean, Christmas, peanuts, no-brainer. If you can get it for a dollar and it's in good shape, no-brainer. So, uh, I've got a little thing I'm trying out uh, in the off-season when it's not close to Christmas. I'm kind of upselling the Christmas items that I put in my store. So, uh, I put $19.99 on this one. I probably regularly would have put like $12 on this, um, but it still sold, sold uh in the summertime, it sold. So uh, people are still looking for peanuts and Christmas uh, t-shirts for whatever reason. Um, so you know, still buy your Christmas items, especially during the summer, and uh, upsell them. Put a put a high price on them, and then uh, what you can do when it gets you know close to Christmas, maybe a couple months out, month and a half, uh, do a sale for like fifteen percent off, and you know you might have some good luck there. Next, of course, always pick things up like this, especially when the movie's hot. Uh, Deadpool t-shirt, great condition, size large, so it's a, an average size. Um, so it, it looked like it had hardly ever been worn. I put new without tags, just the condition. Put $12.99 on it and somebody bought it, no problem. So uh, that's probably about the price you can get a new one for, $15, maybe $20, but I didn't see many that were just like this, so that's why I put $12.99 on it. Otherwise, if there were a bunch of them, I might have said $9.99. Uh, $12.99, pay a dollar for the t-shirt, so great sale in my book. Next, we've got vintage guest jeans. So, uh, I had these, um, I sold these once before. I can't even remember if I put it in a video or not, but I sold these once before. And uh, the buyer got them, and they loved the jeans, but they just didn't fit them right. So they asked for a return, and I accepted the return. So uh, I don't argue returns, just because it's not worth my stress and my energy to argue returns. Uh, I mean, you got to think about it from the buyer's standpoint. They're buying clothes on the Internet, used clothes on the Internet. They can't try them on. So they can buy what they think is going to fit them right. But then when they get them home, get them, you know, they get them delivered, they might not fit right, whatever. I was fine with that. So they shipped them back, I put them back up, and uh, they actually sold for more money. So I think they sold for like $24.99 last time, they sold for $30.99 this time. And I got positive feedback on this one, so they were very happy with them. Um, but yeah, look out for these uh, acid wash or stone wash jeans, especially guests, anything 90s guests, 80s guests. Oh, man, anything 90s guess, even just a regular plain gray faded t-shirt from the 90s that has guess on it, you can sell for around $25 or $30. So uh, look out for those. Aha! I started looking at swimsuits, uh, swim shorts, and I started coming across some vintage looking swim shorts, so I, I grabbed some pairs. And this is one of the pairs. These are straight up 70s, 80s. Uh, they're Action Hawaii. I couldn't find any, a brand of them anywhere else. Uh, but look at these things. It's like some Who Wears Short Shorts type things, man. But uh, the liner had been taken out. I did disclose that in the 
in the in the uh, in the listing. Put measurements. Uh, it has a drawstring that does work, and I can't believe I don't have a picture of the drawstring. Um. Anyway, so um. Twenty four ninety nine. I paid a dollar for these. Dollar or two maybe. So um, look out for vintage swim shorts. All right, you heard me talk about 90s Guess, 90s Tommy Hilfiger, uh, Hilfiger denim, Tommy jeans, uh, Tommy Hilfiger, I mean anything Tommy from the 90s. And how can you tell it's from the 90s? Well, it has this big, ugly, gaudy uh, tag right here. They're a lot smaller now. Some of them are sewn in, uh, but when they're this big, you know it's from the 90s. And I mean, this was just a cool shirt. It had the emblem on the uh, sleeve as well. And um, I mean, it says Tommy Big Jeans on the back. I mean, I knew this would sell. Uh, thought about listing it for $30, but I listed it for 20 instead. I think it was in my store for about four days, and it sold. No issue. Paid a dollar for it. Good sale right there. Uh, back to um, swim shorts. Now, I didn't know if these were vintage or from the 90s or not, but so Polo Sport. Anything Polo Sport you need to get. Polo Sport sells better than Polo by Ralph Lauren. I mean, it's still Ralph Lauren, but Polo Sport, for some reason, has a larger following uh, than just the regular Polo. So, people love these Polo Sport items. T-shirts, polo sport jeans, and in this case, swim trunks. This was a rare auction that I did. Just want to see what they would go for. I think I started at $19.99. No, no, no. Sorry, $9.99. And they sold for $17.50 with six bids. So, um, pretty happy with that. Uh, I'll start them at $14.99, not $9.99. But regardless, uh, pretty happy with that sale. I think I paid $2 for the shorts. And uh, I'm going to be looking out for these from now on. I got another pair of shorts here. Let me see. Um, yes, I do. So these were kind of crazy. Um, sold these for $19.99. I only had one bid. I was a little disappointed I only had one bid. But these are some 90s Reebok um, swim shorts just decked out in the American flag. So this was an easy pick for me. I think I paid $2 for these as well. And... Um, they only lasted for one auction round, so I was I was gonna put them up for about thirty bucks, buy it now if they didn't sell. But uh, I'm pretty happy with this. So, like I said, don't, don't pass up the swim shorts, especially this time of year. Uh, not sure what happened here. I had another item up, but it's gone. All right, so uh, here's uh, this falls kind of in the category of the. Uh, when I said maybe show you some t-shirts that uh, you might not ever think of or think to get so uh, this has Jack Daniels Red Dog Saloon on it uh, it's a very uh, touristy uh, bar in Lynchburg Tennessee um, it's like the place to go when you go to Lynchburg so anytime you see t-shirts that have places like this so like if you see stuff from Florida or any like vacation destinations that have like a bar or something in that area, uh, those are good t-shirts to pick up. Like if you can grab them for you know under two dollars, great t-shirts. People always uh, look for t-shirts like that, especially if they're going to be going there or something like that. You know, so um, this was up in my store for about two weeks. Somebody bought it fourteen ninety nine plus two ninety nine shipping. So uh, very happy with that. And so the last item I have here is a vintage 90s FUBU uh, track jacket, windbreaker uh, type jacket. Now you've seen me, if you've watched my videos, you've seen me sell these before, like the Reebok and Nike uh, windbreakers, like the true windbreakers that you had in the 90s, man. So um, people are after these, and this one was in great condition, had great color, great design. And, um, you know, I took a chance on it, and I put it up for 50 bucks. Uh, I did do, did do free shipping. When I can get away with shipping something first class, and um, 
I put it at a price like 50 bucks. I'll always offer free shipping. So uh, I think I paid two dollars for this jacket, and it sold for 49.99, full asking price and free shipping. Um, so there you have it, guys. I'm not doing any fails this week. Uh, maybe uh, I'll come up with some for uh, my next week's sales video. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to get back in the game here since I've been out for so long. Uh, but I appreciate you coming back to watch my video. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, comment, you know, share some of your sales with me if you want. And uh, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, so uh, I just appreciate you watching. And uh, hopefully my leg will keep getting better and I can get back in the game here. Through. I have a bunch of stuff actually that I've, I've, I've purchased uh, here and there over the last few weeks that I need to take pictures of and list real soon. I'm under 400 items in my store now. Need to get that back up to about 500, uh, which is what I like to keep in my store at all times. But thanks again, everybody, and uh, I hope to see you next week. Take care.